Ever since I have been rapping, the thing that hold me back it has always been my voice. No choice but to say that I'm mad. Swear to God, if I got a voice like Cardis, what about a year ago for a start? Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome to some EXO Survival gameplay. Today I'm going to be live commentating on the EXO Zombies bonus round on Riot. The reason why I'm doing this, and you may be thinking, well, why are you doing this? You know, the game's been out for a while, I'm just going to go with the Heavy EXO. Um, why are you live commentating EXO Zombies? Well, when, they when Advanced Warfare first came out, I d um, in fact the very first video I posted of e Advanced Warfare was in fact of this Exo Zombies bonus uh, round, but it was just some standard gameplay. Nothing too special, it was just some standard gameplay, it wasn't a live com or anything like that. So I thought, you know what, I might as well live commentate it now. The reason for that is because since we uh, originally, you know, the game, since the foot game first came out and we got leaked information about this Exo Zombies bonus round or whatever, since then, it's been confirmed that Exo Zombies will be a full-fledged game mode part of the DLC, and I cannot wait. Uh, it was announced quite a while ago, I posted a video about it on my channel. But anyways, I just can't wait, and I thought I would live commentate this Exo Zombies bonus round to discuss my theories on how it's going to be, and just to, dis to discuss some things which haven't been mentioned on YouTube before, and uh, things like that. I also just want to quickly discuss um, Exo Survival a bit and how I think of that. So we've done round one already. I'm not going to bother readying up just so I can talk to you guys because uh, it's it's a lot easier just to talk and uh, when the uh, when the guys aren't raiding you. But um, anyways, my I think Exo Zombies is going to be extremely fun. I still don't think it's going to be as good as Treyarch Zombies, because obviously it's not going to be the same as Treyarch Zombies, it's going to be very different, you know what, I'm just going to ready up. It's going to be very different to Treyarch Zombies, um, I think it's going to be completely different. I still think you'll be able to get perks in some way, but they're not going to be as good perks, I think they're just going to be standard multiplayer perks. What I'm hoping is they can put big easter eggs in it, like they have done with Treyarch Zombies as well. I think if they put big easter eggs in it, I think that'll make it really cool. Um, hopefully they can put wonder weapons in it like in Treyarch Zombies, but I don't want it to be like Treyarch Zombies. I want it to be different, because obviously we're going to be getting Treyarch Zombies next year in their next game, and that's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. But I think it is going to be very different because it's Exo Zombies and not Classic Zombies. I think the zombies are obviously going to be a lot, a lot faster. Um, they're going to be able to double jump. Um, you personally will be able to train a lot easier, I feel, because of the double jump ability. I feel like you're also going to have a lot more health since it was just two slaps to die on uh, on Treyarch Zombies. I think it's going to be a lot easier to... Um, well, it's gonna, you're going to have a lot more health. Um, we actually found out from a trailer as well that the Exo Zombies DLC will take place in tiers. Let me just do this objective. Um, the Exo Zombies game mode will take place in different tiers. Which, um, you know, you can have different opinions of that. It's not going to take place in tiers, sorry, it's going to take place in different chapters for the storyline. Um, now, uh, this is basically going to be very similar to um, Extinction, because obviously Extinction took place in four chapters. Well, uh, basically that's how Exo Zombies is going to be as well, so I'm guessing there's going to be like different uh, video intel and things like that around the map. God, I'm failing this jump so bad. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they still... Um, they still somehow implement big easter eggs like in Treyarch Zombies as well. I think that would be very fun indeed. Um, hopefully I can freaking do this objective. The objectives are so hard in this game. But yeah. I just hope that they do the easter eggs really well. I think that could be the make or break for Exo Zombies. Um, I think it really could. Uh, I just can't wait for it really. Just can't wait for zombies. We've had COD Ghost, which obviously wasn't zombies, and I just, I just want my fix of zombies. We just get this. Uh, you can't boost forward with the uh, class, this class, so it's really hard to move about. But uh, just get a bombing run. Right. I'm just, I'm not even going to bother trying to complete this objective because it's just too hard. Like the objectives on this, that some of them are really easy, and then some of them are just really hard for solo at least. Like on, on with you when you're with other people, the objectives are really easy, but when you're just by yourself, some of them are extremely hard, which is just retarded, really. 
like this one, they're just scattered all around the map. Like, how are you even supposed to get them all as a so... We, like, you can get it if you're the, um... If you're the light XO class, but if you're with the heavy XO, you're just too slow to move around the map to get all the, uh... All the tags. So, uh, we're gonna face a penalty here, and we've got a freaking system hack. Oh, well, I can't really see much, but... <laughs> I don't really care, that doesn't actually affect me that much, the system hack. Well, I can't freaking jump. God, well, I forgot it does that. But anyways, right. So I just I just can't wait for Exo Zombies. In terms of Exo Survival in general, which is the only co-op mode in this game as of yet, I find it to be really, really boring, to be honest. I was so disappointed when they announced that it was going to be Exo... Uh, that it, that it was going to be EXO, god there's freaking dogs everywhere, it's so OP. I was really disappointed that it was going to be EXO survival as a co-op mode, so I'm quite happy that it is going to be EXO zombies um, will be part of DLC. But um, yeah, this EXO survival is just so boring, I can't help but feeling like it's actually worse than Modern Warfare 3 survival. Theoretically, it shouldn't be just because of the, of the fact that there's now objectives, there's now uh, more kill streaks, more upgradables, um, more stuff like that. But I still can't help but feeling like it's just too easy. Like, literally, um, the other day I posted some gameplay of Exo Survival, and it was in fact a world record for split screen. We managed to get to round 64, and that was my like sixth ever game, and I managed to beat the world record for split screen. You should not be able to do that. You should have to grind it for hours. And that was only playing for like an hour and 45 minutes. That's how easy this game mode is. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I really like this, uh, the, what they've done with this map for the Exo Zombies bonus round. Because, uh, if you can't tell already, um, if, when you actually start this map on Riot, um, it starts off at daytime and then gradually as the rounds continue, it gets darker and darker until you reach the Exo Zombies bonus wave where it's full blown nighttime. And I think that's a really, really cool feature of this uh, the Exo Zombies bonus round. Because obviously, on classic, on the just standard multiplayer on Riot, this map is just daytime all the time. But on this uh, bonus round, it's nighttime and it just adds this really, really cool atmosphere. I just. It adds just this amazing atmosphere, and also like these these lights that are on that are normally not on a multiplayer, that just glare in your eyes, and also all the buildings lights outside the map are all on, and it adds this just amazing uh, like green atmosphere, and I really like what they've done with it. So, anyways, let me just upgrade some stats now. There's another freaking objective, Jesus Christ! Right, we've got to hold down the hard point. Right, anyways, I'm not playing with sound right now, so it's quite hard to play, just so it doesn't, like, you don't hear two versions of the sound, so I'm not playing with sound, you'll be able to hear the game sounds, but I can't, oh god, Jesus Christ, this gun is so bad for taking out them guys in the air, and my freaking gun's overheated, it's a bad thing about this gun, but, you know, it does have unlimited ammo, so it's obviously going to have to cool down at some point, but, um, yeah, Right, we've done the objective, I think. Let me just get the supply drop. Right. So anyways, um, yeah, Exo Zombies, I just can't wait for the DLC. It's just going to be so good. Right, let's get one of these. Um, I'll just get the Goliath. Uh, why not? Probably not even going to bother using the streaks, because the Exo Zombies bonus round starts in round 11. So we're very close. Um, but yeah, I had to grind Exo Survival so, so much to unlock this Zombies bonus round, literally. I had to play 50 rounds of Tier 1, um, 75 rounds of Tier 2, and 100 rounds of Tier 3 just to unlock this, uh, but, um, or just to unlock Riot. So as you can tell, I'm, pro I'm quite disappointed by the fact that it's just a bonus round. Um, but you know what, it's better than having nothing, I guess. And these kids are going in, right. So anyways, there's freaking tons of them, Jesus. Right. Let's get up here. Get destroyed. Oh my god, there's so many down there. Go, go, grenade. I'm actually going to get destroyed right now. There's a kid back here, right. Die. Can't even see anything. You know what I hate about this game? 
when you get damaged, your screen goes really bright and you can't see anything. I don't know if you've noticed it, but your brightness really, really increases when you get damaged, and it's the most retarded thing ever. Like, it doesn't even make sense why your screen would go black, I mean light, why it would go so light when you're getting damaged, and it's just so annoying because you just can't see anything when you start getting damaged. I just don't even get the reason for them doing that. But yeah, I can't wait for the Exo Zombies uh, in the DLC. I really just can't wait. Um, it's just going to be so amazing. Exo Zombies was a, dis I mean, Exo Survival was a disappointment. In terms of the storyline for Exo Zombies, it's clearly, clearly going to continue on from the campaign in some way. Because obviously, from the bonus round, we saw that Gideon uh, died, or at least we think he died. He could have survived. He could be still alive, but uh, we think he's died from the um, from the ending cutscene, which you'll see at the end of this video. But um, yeah, Gideon was obviously from the campaign. If you haven't watched that, so uh, it could mean some that the uh, the extra zombie storyline will in fact just carry on from the campaign. But we may actually see a return of Kevin Spacey. What if he's actually still alive? What if he somehow survived? We've got no idea, because obviously, if you didn't, if you didn't know, um, which you will know by the end of this video at least, that uh, Manticore is in fact the thing which actually turns them into zombies. So it's basically the equivalent of um, Treyarch's 115. Um, so uh, that's basically what turns them into zombies, and obviously Manticore's from the campaign. And uh, in fact, there's an easter egg on this map which no one's really picked up on, which I'll show you guys in a sec. But anyways, um, Manticore basically causes the zombies in this game mode. And uh, the zombies, you know, the Exo Zombies game mode is just going to be so, so different from Treyarch Zombies. I just can't wait. So anyways, there's an easter egg on this, um, on this map. Basically, there's hidden Manticore everywhere on the map. This is one of them. If you haven't played the campaign, basically, these, the Manticore are basically these. They're basically just these small, tiny balls. And uh, basically, um, you'll see when the Exo Zombies bonus wave kicks in that these balls rise to the sky and they all explode, and that's what actually causes the zombies. Now they're hidden. There's about I reckon there's about 20 to 30 of them hidden around the map on this map. And I'm gonna make a sep separate video about the Easter egg, but they're hidden everywhere on this map, and um, which is pretty cool indeed. And obviously on the Exo Zombies bonus round. When it kicks in, they all rise to the sky and explode. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it's going to be quite interesting, um, the storyline. And I'm going so red right now. Jesus Christ. I'm going to die. What the hell? I'm actually going to die in a second right now. Jesus Christ. But yeah, it's really hard to live commentate, so sorry if my commentary is a bit rusty. But it's really, really actually hard to live commentate whilst playing at the same time. So we knife that guy and we knife that guy. Alright, so we'll take out these guys in the sky. I can even see them. Right, take that guy out. Take that guy out, just about. <laughs> Jesus, that's a guy in rapid health. Take that guy out. And we'll punch that guy. Oh god. So yeah, I can't help but feeling like all these hidden um, Manticore, I found about 8 or 9, I found about 8 or 9 of these Manticore, but there's roughly, I reckon, as he said, about 20 to 30, because I've only found that many, but every time I think I've found them all, I then end up finding some more, so I'm convinced that there's in fact um, an easter egg, if you find them all and say shoot them all or press square on them all, I'm convinced that uh, there's an easter egg. I'm just so convinced that there's an easter egg um, which you can somehow initiate for finding all of them. As he said, I don't think I've found all of them. Because on the bonus round, there's literally hundreds that rise in the sky. So I'm going to make a separate video about it. Possibly if you find them all, it does actually... So the next round will be the Exo Zombies bonus round. But possibly if you find all of the... Um, I'm going to call in a warbird on this Goliath. Right, so next round will be the Exo Zombies bonus round. So yeah, I just can't wait. I might as well just um, buy a weapon. Because, uh, you know what, just for a bit of fun, let's go XMGs. Right, we're calling another bombing run on him. 
Oh god, he's coming! Right, I'll, I might go in a Goliath to fight him. I'll fight him with XMGs just because why not? Just for the fun factor of it. Get wrecked! Nope! <laughs> just get wrecked! This kid's got rapid health. And he's dead, right. <laughs> we killed that guy proper easy, that was the best way to kill him. So anyways, the bonus round is going to initiate. As you can see, you can hear Gideon. And look, these are the balls which I was talking about. They all rise to the sky. Well, there's one there. And they all just explode, and that's basically what causes the zombies. And uh, once this zombies round has initiated, you will see that all of the balls have then disappeared from the map. And I'm still convinced that there's an easter egg, because... I don't see the point of them putting the balls on the map unless you actually have to initiate an easter egg. Because they didn't need... They didn't need to put the balls on the map. Right, let me just get a weapon. So, if I just quickly get a weapon... If we look in the area where the ball was, as you can see, it's disappeared. And that's because, obviously, the ball exploded. But what I'm trying to say is... Why the hell... Would Sledgehammer go through the effort of hiding these balls all around the map, hiding the manticore all around the map, unless it was for an easter egg. So obviously the zombies are coming and they're just a lot faster than Treyarch zombies and uh, they're just so fast and they're really easy to train I feel but I feel like um, obviously when the actual DLC comes out um, they're going to be a lot harder on the, on the, uh, on the DLC on the actual full-fledged Exo Zombies game mode and as you can see you've got tons and tons of health let me just destroy them just so I can get the Exo abilities oh god so yeah what gun's this? oh god I didn't want to swap that out right let me just pick that back up god there's tons of them coming I'm going proper low on health so yeah, I mean, the Exo Zombies bonus wave is so eerie, as as you can see, every round it gets darker, so once you hit these, once you hit the Zombies bonus round, it just becomes nighttime. When you start the Riot map, however, it's full-fledged daytime, just like it is on normal multiplayer. But every round, as I said, it gets darker and darker until you hit the bonus round, <coughs> where it becomes nighttime, and um, it's just extremely hard to see. I mean, it's extreme. It's really cool that this game, um, that on this map, it does get darker every round, and obviously all the lights are turned on around the map and things, which just makes it so eerie. It's just so cool. Look at them. Punch them to death. Oh god. Losing health like mad. So yeah, I've got no idea how they're gonna implement this extra zombies as part of DLC. I just can't wait. Really, it's gonna be so different to Treyarch Zombies. I think it's gonna be a fresh change. I think it's gonna be Treyarch's own take on, I mean, Sledgehammer Games' own take on Treyarch Zombies. It's gonna be completely different. It's gonna have no relevation to Treyarch Zombies. It's just gonna be a whole new fun game mode, which I just can't wait for. I think multiplayer's starting to get stale on Advanced Warfare. I feel like it's just getting a bit stale. So I just can't wait. So anyways, we've killed tons of them now, so we can escape. So I just feel like there's just more to this bonus round than meets the eye. So um, I just can't wait. I just can't wait though. Right, so we've got to escape now. And you know what? I'm going to just wait here. Right until comes this bulldog. I'm going to wait here and see how long I can survive until the time is about to run out and then I'll run. <laughs> Jesus, there's so many of them. Right, <laughs> we've done it anyway, even though we didn't even reach it. So as you can see, look how many zombies you'll see in a second. So obviously, this is, um, this takes place in the bit of the riot map which you can't go into. Because on multiplayer, you can obviously go anywhere on the map. However, on the Exo Zombies Riot, you can only go on half the map. And that's because the other half is obviously where you have to escape and it's in this cutscene. And uh, you'll see in a second that Gideon is about to die, or at least we think he dies. He could end up surviving in the DLC, we've got no idea. We may actually have to rescue him in the DLC or something like that. But yeah, I just can't wait for the Exo Zombies DLC. I still have a feeling like that um, the the Manticore, the hidden Manticore balls, which are hidden everywhere on the map. I still can't help but feeling like that's an Easter egg. So um, I'm gonna try and look further into it, 
And uh, if any of you guys um, think that it's an Easter egg, you could go and try and find them all. And if you find them all and it does turn out to be an Easter egg, just leave it in the comment section down below. So anyways, we've managed to complete that ExoZombies bonus round. I just can't wait for the DLC. I think it's going to be so different to try out zombies, as I've said multiple times. It's going to be much better than uh, Exo Survival because that is just really, it is just really boring to be honest, and it is way too easy than it is. It should just be a lot harder than it is. So, anyways, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed. If you're hyped for ex for the full fledged Exo Zombies game mode to be released as DLC. So, anyways, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed, and uh, bye.